Good morning. <clears throat> this is your sweat workout, spiritual workout every today for Saturday, February 6th. Thank you for taking a minute to watch this video. And if you're looking for a little direction today, how to connect with God, uh, I hope that this will be helpful to you. So we're working through the Sermon on the Mount currently. We're in Matthew chapter 7, uh, verses 1 through 5 today. I encourage you to start this time by just taking some time to be alone with God. And maybe there's some things for you to confess. Maybe it's a good time to acknowledge all that you have to be thankful for. Maybe there's some concerns or some heaviness about what's going on in your life or the lives of others that you can pray for and ask for help for and ask God to show up in the midst of and just ask you to take some time just to connect with Him. And here's a prayer that could be helpful um, in that. And it's a prayer that leads us into this text in Matthew 7 verses 1 through 5. Let me le read it for you. Do not judge so that you may not be judged. For with the judgment you make, you will be judged, and the measure you give will be the measure you get. Why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your neighbor, let me take the speck out of your eye, while the log is in your own eye? You hypocrite. First, take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbor's eye. <clears throat> so obviously this text gets into the challenge for many of us of judgmentalness where we focus our attention on what's wrong with everybody around us without seeing the work that we need to do. And it's interesting how this text really encourages us to do that work before we start looking outside of ourselves. And so again, I encourage you to read this text, encourage you to be open to what the Spirit is saying to you in the midst of that. And here's just a couple suggested, ac suggested action steps that you could take. One is to think about how does judgmentalness keep you from loving others? One of the foundational calls of our life is to love. And so often judgmentalness, when we take this posture of word judge, limits our ability to love others. Think about how that's true for you. And then secondly, why do you think it's tempting to judge? What is it going on in us that leads us to focus our attention on others instead of doing the important work with God about the growth that he's calling us to do, where we do focus our attention on our own sin and acknowledge that and take responsibility for that and ask God to grow us in the midst of that. So I know that this is a harder one today, but it's an important one. So I hope that that time with God will help you grow. Thanks for taking a minute to watch this video.